Sixth grade, module three, lesson 19, problem set. Number one, one end point of a line segment is negative three, negative sixth. The length of the line segment is seven units. Find four points that could serve as other endpoints of the given line segment. So negative three, negative six is right there. And that's one endpoint of a line segment. We want to, and it's seven units long, we want to find four points that could serve as the other endpoint. So basically, we could go in four directions, up, down, to the right, or to the left. We just need to go seven units in each direction to find the other four points. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one point could be four, negative six. Now I'm going to go four to the left, or seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven would be one past. And that would be, so this is negative nine, this would be negative ten. So that would be located at negative ten, negative six. Now I'm going to go down seven. So one, two, three, four, five. I need to go down two more. So this was negative 11. We'd have negative 12, negative 13. So that was five, six, seven. So this would be located at negative three, negative 13. And then the final one, if I went up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'd be right there, which is at negative three, one. So those are the four coordinates that the point could be located at. Number two, two of the vertices of a rectangle are one, negative six, and negative eight, negative six. So let's plot those, one, negative six, and eight, ne negative eight, negative six. Right there. If the rectangle has a perimeter of 26 units, what are the coordinates of its other two vertices? So it has a perimeter of 26. The length here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then the other side, opposite it, whether it's right here or somewhere else, is also going to be 9. So we already know that two sides are 9 plus 9, which is 18, and the total is 26. So 18 plus something plus something is equal to 26, and these two need to be the same thing. So 26 minus 18, what we're left with is 8. So these must be... Four. So the side lengths will be 9, 9, 4, and 4. Which then if we plotted them, we would move up 4 and 4. And then... These two points are located at negative eight, negative two, and one, negative two. Number three, a rectangle has a perimeter of 28 units, an area of 48 square units, and sides that are either horizontal or vertical. If one vertex is on the point negative five, negative seven, and the origin is in the interior of the rectangle. Find the vertex of the rectangle that is opposite. Find the vertex of the rectangle that is opposite negative five, negative seven. All right, this one's tricky, not gonna lie. So negative five, negative seven, that's all we know. And all we also know that, that's the only point we know, but we also know that the perimeter is 28, the area is 48. We know that the sides are horizontal or vertical. 
So it looks something like this or something like this. It's not diagonal. Um, and we also know that the origin is in the interior of the rectangle. So this point right here must be somewhere in the middle of the rectangle. It's not on the outside. So working from that, we're then going to find the opposite uh, vertex from negative 5, negative 7. So I'm going to start with what we know about perimeter and area. So we need to find some factors. Or we know that the length times the width is equal to 48. So I'm just going to list some things that I know when I multiply are equal to 48. So let's try, I know 2 times 24 is equal to 48. However, if I had side lengths of 2 and 24, and I added all of those, they are not going to add up to the perimeter of 28. So this cannot be, that is not going to work. So let's try another length times width. I know also that 12 times 4 is equal to 48. But again, 12 plus 12, that's already 24. If I had 4 and 4, 8 more, that's too big. So that doesn't work either. So let's think of some more factors of 48. I know 6 times 8 is equal to 48. Let's see if the perimeter would work. If I did 6 plus 6 plus 8 plus 8, that would be 12 plus 16, which does equal 28. So I'm going to go with my rectangle needs to be 6 by 8. But do I want it to be 6 going up and down vertically or 8? Well, that's where it's important that we know that the origin, they told us the origin is in the middle. So that means that I'm going to have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I went up 6, it would stop right here. And the origin wouldn't be in the middle of the rectangle because the rectangle would be something like that. So we can't stop at 6. We have to go up 8 in order to include the origin in the middle in the interior of our rectangle. So I'm going to go up 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm going to go over 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'll just fill in the other side. So here is my rectangle and it fulfills all the requirements. The area is 48 units squared. The perimeter is 28 and the origin is in the interior. So what it wanted to know is find the vertex of the rectangle that is opposite, negative five, negative seven. So we're looking for the opposite of this, negative five, negative seven, so opposite that would be right here at 1, 1. So after all that, the answer is 1, 1. And that is the end of all of Module 3. So hopefully I'll see you in Module 4.